Welcome to Deep in the Sauce, brought to you by Big Butts Barbecue Sauce, Yeah What's in the Woods, and me, your host, Tom Porter. I'm calling this Season 2 of Deep in the Sauce, and this is going to be Episode 8, I believe. Today, we're going to make something that I like to call shiggin'. And what that is, is it involves shrimp, chicken, and bacon. All bundled up together, nice, and then cooked on your smoker or grill. So, first of all, you have to get your shrimp, and these are 1620 shrimp. 1620 just refers to the amount of shrimp per pound. So as you can see, these guys are pretty decent size here. Now they're uh, easy peel shrimp. They've already were deveined, so all I have to do is peel them and take the legs off. Now I'm actually going to take a small paring knife and go a little bit deeper in here, making sure not to cut myself. And I'm going to make it so I almost butterfly it out, just like that. Okay. And then, I'm going to go through and do that to all the rest of these, and then we'll go from there. Now I'm going to take my chicken, and to it, I got some rub seasoning here. Now this is the part that you can really get creative with. You could marinate these chicken if you wanted to. You could brine them if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to take this rub mix I got here and toss them around in it. I want to get everything nice and evenly coated here. Spin them around. Now, the big trick to this of sorts is we're going to season the chicken, but we're not going to really season the shrimp. And the reason being is because the shrimp is very delicate as far as absorbing flavors. So if we put it on the inside, it'll get nice flavor on the inside. And then you'll get the nice smoky flavor or the barbecue flavor or uh, grill flavor on the outside. So that's looking pretty good. Just a little bit more. Okay, now once you got your chicken all seasoned up, you want to start assembling. So I'm going to take a shrimp, take a piece of chicken, and lay it in the cavity. Just like that. Then we take a piece of thick cut bacon. I'm going to wrap the whole thing with the bacon. Like that. Then you take a toothpick. Shove it through to make sure that the bacon stays in place. Looks just like that. Chicken stuffed inside the shrimp and wrapped with the bacon. So I'm just going to go through, grab another shrimp, grab another piece of chicken, lay it in there, grab another piece of this thick cut bacon, wrap it around just like that, toothpick, and keep repeating the process until I got all these guys wrapped up good. Got all my shrimp stuffed and wrapped. And now it's time to put them on the smoker. Now I've got this set at about 250. And I got a frog mat in here that'll keep little stuff like shrimp or meatballs or stuff like that from sticking. Love these frog mats, they're awesome. So I'm just going to set them on here. Just like this. Now, there's nothing wrong with these shrimp. A lot of the times, you can see shrimp and it's pink. Well, if it's pink, it's already been cooked. These are just totally raw, totally uncooked, and that's why they have the gray look to them. They're also, if anyone cares, a Gulf Coast wild shrimp. So, always support your local fishermen. In this case, the United States is local. So, flop them on here. Like 
hotel. When you're a baby? Yes. You didn't want to hotel when you were a baby. Alright, so there we go. I'll leave them on here and check on them periodically. Um, but I say anywhere from uh, 40 minutes to an hour should be plenty of time to get these all cooked up. Um, you'll be able to tell. They'll start to change color and the chicken of course will turn white. So, or it'll get a pinkish hue to it like uh, any smoked meat would. So we're going to set them on there and put our lid on and let them cook. Alright, so our shrimp have been cooking for about oh, 35 minutes or so. And I think they're already ready to come off. Oh yeah. They got some nice color on them. Now, you could go and coat these with barbecue sauce or some other type of glaze or jelly. But I'm just going to have them the way they are. Oh yeah, so you got some nice little caramelization from some of the sugars on there. And shrimp are naturally pretty sweet on their own. Just take some off here. So we're going to go ahead and unload these little guys. And then we're going to give them a taste. See how they are. We got all of our shrimp off the grill and on our plate. Man, do they look good. Now... A smart man would probably let these cool off a little bit before he tried them, but uh, I really want to try one, so I'm going to take them and I'm probably going to burn my mouth, but it's worth it. So I'm just going to yank the toothpick out, and there's a reason why I left the tails on, and just take a bite out of this here. Wow, hot. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. The rub I put on the chicken has gotten on the inside of the shrimp and on the outside it's actually got this nice little caramelizing from the bacon. But it's really sweet flavor. And the bacon hasn't overpowered it at all. It's just add that nice kind of smoky saltiness to it. This is some real good stuff. And just take the shrimp and throw the tail. Now, here's another one. What I really want to try this with is a little bit of barbecue sauce. So I'm going to take the toothpick out, give her a dip in some of our hot barbecue sauce, because I found that works the best with shrimp. Let's take a little bite here. Mmm. Now, mmm. Oh my god, these are really good. There you see the chicken, the shrimp, and the bacon all wrapped together. So, take some chicken, give them a try. Like I say, you can marinate the chicken however you want. You can put whatever seasonings you want on it. While they're cooking, you can even throw some barbecue sauce or jelly or other flavorings you want on it. You can go anywhere with these things. You can make them Asian style, you can make them Mexican style, but in the end, it's all going to be delicious. So try it out today. This has been Deep in the Sauce, brought to you by Big Butts Barbecue Sauce and Yabbits in the Woods. Have a good one.